they, are, they, are, they make things worse because this will affect your adrenal glands, okay? So it's very important you learn how to fight the stress and worry. How do you do this? Well, we're going to meditate, okay? And we're going to use a lot of assumptions, okay? I will just here. So, meditation. When you, wake up, when you wake up in the morning, every morning, before you wake up in the morning, you have to say to yourself, I am healthy, okay? You can use any other um, attribute you want, but when you say I am, it's a statement of divine statement. It's in the Bible, it's in, it's in the religious books, Judaism, um, Islam has a form of it as well. Um, all religions have I am. It's a claim to, to your divinity. So if you say I am healthy, you become healthy. If you say I am sick, you become sick. Okay, very important. The mind doesn't know what negative is. So if you say, um, if you say to yourself, I don't have, um, what was the word? I don't have alopecia, guess what? You are manifesting the alopecia, so your 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 wording should not be I don't have alopecia, but you say um, I have beautiful hair. So every morning, at least at least five to seven times a day, uh, in the morning you say it, and all through the day I am healthy or I am whatever benefit you want. Never use a negative. Step number two. Have an inner conversation before you sleep in bed. Now, inner conversation is you are speaking to yourself, your divine nature, you are speaking to yourself, and you are making a claim. And this, if done properly, will manifest. This will encourage the physical to become to be. I know it sounds crazy, but it's a proof, it's true. If you do this properly, this comes easy to manifest. I mean, if you fix it. So, the inner conversation is between you and a loved one. You close your eyes just before bed. It has to be just before bed because before you go to bed, the conscious mind is not active, as active, and the subconscious mind is more um, more active. Mean that it's, it's more impressionable. Sorry. So if you do this at night before you go to bed, um, you will be able to put it into the into your subconscious and to your awareness, and awareness will manifest in the physical space. So the conversation is between a loved one, a son, or anyone you trust, and um, and you. So the son will say something like this. In a conversation, you are visualizing. Remember, you are using the first person point of view, meaning that you're using um, your eyes as you would, you would now. You, when you use your eyes now, you can't, you can only see your hands, you can't see your, your face. You're seeing the first person point of view. So when you have a conversation with somebody in your mind, you, you can only see them, but you can't see yourself, put it that way. It's first person point of view. And it has to have the impression of reality. The, the quicker you'll be able to make this real in your imagination, the faster the results. So you will say to the loved one in front of you, it has to be very short. We don't need long um, scripts, very short scripts. In fact, write it down, memorize it before you say it. So it goes like this. The, the son says, Mother, I'm grateful you have good menses, good circulation, good digestion. You notice that's all to the positive, okay? And you, in your mind's eye, in your voice, will say, Yes, son, I'm grateful that I have good you know, digestion, good health, good circulation. You can put anything you want here. Make sure it's positive, not negative. Never mention the name of the health issue. And <clears throat> do this every night. You loop it, loop it. It should be 10, 15, 12 seconds long. Loop it five, seven times. Keep on doing it every night. Um, you will know when it's correct, when it, this scene seems like it has happened or is natural. When you have done that and you have a good feeling that it's done, you can forget it. And then the, the divine will work to bring it to be.